Hey guys, welcome back to Kimmel's Corner, where it is day two of Mermaid, and uh, we are doing portraits inspired by the fish from Animal Crossing. So today's fish is, da, 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 it's the piranha. So pretty. So we are gonna use the color scheme, maybe throw in some sharp teeth. I'm not really sure. I've picked out a couple of uh, colored pencils to use. I'm using my small Jane Davenport sketchbook. And I'm gonna bust out the Watercolor Confections Tropicals from Art Philosophy by Prima, it says right there. So I guess I will no longer call them Prima Marketing. I'll just call them Art Philosophy by Prima Donna. It's a struggle to get them open, but I will succeed because I'm just gonna start ripping it. Why is it so hard? You got this. I did it, first try. So we're gonna, you know, bust these out. I gotta zoom through, do some swatching. You know the drill. We're gonna speed through this part. All right, now that we got that part done, I am going to use a water brush or an aqua brush, um, just cause I don't wanna dirty up my water to swatch all of these, although I should activate them. And I guess while they're activating, I can, <sighs> while they're activating, I can sketch out what I'm gonna do. I pulled some colored pencils earlier that kind of, you know, match the piranha theme. Let's hope I picked wisely. All right, so dry that off. We're gonna give her eyes. That's where we're gonna start. I kind of want to do one of my favorite faces. I'm gonna fill this whole thing just with her face. She's gonna be kind of spooky looking. Give her big ol' eyes. Big ol' uneven eyes, cause you know. That's how she do, that's how I do. I don't know why, but it's just not important to me anymore. I used to be so obsessed with having everything just perfect. Not so much anymore. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with her eyes. I think I might give her, instead of having whites for her eyes, I might give her black and give her a pink eye. I have no idea what Piranha's eyeballs look like, but that seems kind of cool. It's only for inspiration. I do what I want, obviously. I might be a little overly caffeinated as usual. I really feel it helps my uneven line work. All right, she has to have her teeth showing. So we're doing one of these crazy faces. Not crazy, but crazy lips, I should say. She totally looks like she's doing fish lips right now. Little piranha-esque teeth. Hopefully I don't forget those are teeth and you know, do something weird down there. Give her some big old lashes. Will I remember to make them big when they're all covered in paint? I don't know. I tend to do a lot of preliminary things that I just completely forget later on. And then she's gonna have dark blue hair, but I'm deciding if I want it to be like all over her face. I think I wanna do Something like that. Something like that, that'll be, that'll be something. I really don't know. I'm not the most articulate person. And that's all right. Hopefully the artwork does the talking for me. I wonder how Prana's gills look. I'm gonna give her like some gill thingies on the side of her neck. Something in that area. And then her hair can just. And then this will all be hair back here, but darker, because it's in the background. Ooh, I should probably swatch these now. All right, we got some gorgeous colors to work with. This is gonna be fun. Alrighty, I think should I start with her hair? I always seem to start with the face. Now I'm gonna start with the face. I feel like if I start with the hair, it's gonna bleed into her face and I'd rather her face bleed into her hair if that makes any sense. I'm gonna add a little more water to these just cause they kind of dried up. They really absorbed the water. I almost drank my paint water, that'd be gross. I mean, it's, it's clear water right now, but I mean, look at that rim, that's disgusting. All right, you guys, let's get to it. I'm gonna go with the yellow skin. Let's do a mild yellow first. Should probably 
wet her face so it spreads all a little bit easier. Add some of this richer yellow into it. Also, I'm not using a reference today. I used one yesterday and I didn't really love it. Like, I don't know. I feel like using a reference just puts more unneeded pressure. I'm kind of just blocking in some very loose shading. Let's add a touch of hibiscus. The nose area and the cheeks. A little too strong. I'm just trying to vary up the colors, not necessarily shading. And then for her lips, I want to go in an orangey direction. Might dry this real quick. Actually, yeah, I'll dry it really quick before I move on. All right, I'm gonna bring in some of this hurricane color into her hair. And I mixed it right into yellow because you know, skills. Try that again. Just really wet the page before I get started. It's a real problem I got. Just blocking in color. All right, I'm gonna bring in some of the darker blue. Still working somewhat wet on wet, but not quite. I won't have like really nice hard edges. Not looking for that just yet. And my neighbors are doing some kind of construction, so that's always cool. I guess when you got the time. All right, get this a dry. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna add a touch of this island color to the background of her hair, just because there's a lot of green that I've been ignoring. And I almost want it to be kind of a an undertone. Is this wet? Ooh. Sometimes I just get a little carried away and forget that I'm, you know, referencing a little cartoon piranha for some color ideas. You can hear Rocky laughing downstairs. I really want that to be a lot darker. And I'll be darkening it up darkening up the rest of her hair later. But I wanted the base to be nice and dark, so let's dry this up. All right, now I didn't really plan any lighting, but the way the paint has dried, I'm kind of feeling like the lighting's coming from this area, looking down that way. So, keeping that in mind, let's start shading her face just a little bit. I, I'm not gonna do hard shadows just yet. I'm gonna work with still staying in the warmer tones, Probably bring in some hibiscus, some of this gold color, and we'll just kind of start building up our layers. So if it's coming this way, it's going to cast a shadow from her hair. And then her eyelid, her brow area. Usually the edge of the face is going to be somewhat shaded, just to help create like a rounded appearance. And then I just wash my brush off, and then I kind of bleed out. I'm gonna leave this line harsh, but under here, it's a little softer. Shadow from her nose. It's 
a little strong. And then this whole side of her face is gonna be a little bit darker. I can bring in, I can bring down this shadow. And then I can soften it just a little bit because it starts to, since it's not like right, a, like the shadow's not right below the object, it kind of can blur out near the bottom part. I don't know if that makes sense. But the closer something is to an object, the harder the shadow's gonna be. Like that shadow's hard because the hair is just above it. Whereas her chin kind of sticks out from her neck, so it's not as harsh. I'm blabbing a little bit. I'm gonna do some more hard shadows. And this hair isn't laying on her face, so the shadow isn't... It is up here, actually. So it'll be touching the hair here. But then we imagine the hair drifting off of the skin. So the shadow drops down. Add a little more red. And I think I'm gonna bring in this sunset color now. I'm gonna dry it and do some harder. Well, shoot, I should I should shade around her mouth a little bit more. I was just dropping color and I'm gonna come back in with a clean wet brush. And kind of blur it out. Go around her chin. All right, now I'm gonna wash my brush. I'm gonna mix in some of this purpley sunset color. And maybe a touch of the blue. Just give it more of a purple effect and that'll be her hard shadow color. So I'm gonna dry this up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna use this color and technically this would be a cast shadow because it's being cast from her hair. So it gives a little bit of a color temperature change more often than not. Usually when you're in sunlight, it'll be bluish colored. All right, I'm gonna add a touch of the pink to her eye. Not sure how this is gonna dry, but you know, hopefully it'll be interesting. Um, I'm gonna do a dark, dark purpley reddish and add a little more blue just for the inside of her mouth. some of the water off of her eye because it's going to take forever to dry and I'm going to give it a dry. All right so while I was drying it I took a clean wet brush and kind of just smeared the purpley color so it would shade her teeth and same with the whites of her eyes I just took some of that pink color out and shaded her, her whites. I know I said I was going to do the black but I think that would just be too harsh on this image. So now Let's focus our attention on her lips and see if we can start building up some nice, pretty layers. I basically just did the darks and I'm gonna come back in and do more of a golden mid-tone. Actually, I might just go with like a bright yellow and just work on the opposite side and then kind of combine them. I just wanted to push that shadow a little more under her lips. I think I can come back in with pencils and really clean that up 
Let's do a nice dark outline around her eyes. That's a pretty color. Figured I had the color on my palette and on my brush, so why not do more with it? Let's give this a quick dry and work on her hair a bit. I'm not gonna do too much in the way of her hair, just just gonna make it wavy, kinda like how it already is. But you know, a little more texture, a little more added depth. I might add a little of that parrot color into it, I'm just not sure. Yeah, it's all right. Nothing too crazy, keeping it quite simple. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with colored pencils, so don't need to do too much. I might give her just the slightest bit of an eyebrow color, just so it's there and I don't forget to add it later, because I've done that quite a few times. And with that, I think we are ready for colored pencils. Oh, I didn't do her gills. Let's give her some of this pink color down here for her gills. All right, done with the watercolors. I do want to bring in, I have a gold. Turn it out. Oh, put it over here. I have this. It's called Golden Age. It's a pen from Jane Davenport. I haven't used it in a while, so I just want to make sure I don't get it too much glitter. But it's really pretty. It's got like this little, just a tint of a gold ink, but then like it has lots of gold mica in it. So we're going to use that for her eye lids. Just a little something to pop. and because fish are shiny. All right, so now I'm gonna dry this completely and bring out the colored pencils. All right, colored pencil time. I'm gonna use the aquamarine for the lighter parts of her hair. I should actually grab the lightest version. All right, light aqua. Ooh, she's already looking better. So I'm gonna use the dark or just the regular aquamarine for the bottom parts. Just to help with the illusion of depth. A couple of loose strands and a couple of darker strands just thrown into the background for good measure. It's just fun. Adds a little interest. All right, now. I think I'm gonna add the purple color. I think it's called Reef. I'm gonna add that up here. Let's do that right now. Reef and Sunset, they're both gorgeous colors. It doesn't all need to be colored in, but I wanna do some of it. I think I have some salt up here, that could be fun. No idea where I put it though. A Little bit of salt. We'll see what that does. If anything, I mean, I really don't know if it was wet enough to really have an effect or if the salt's even big enough to have an effect. <sighs> All right, so around her face, actually let's do her lips. Lips or eyes, lips or eyes, hmm. Let's do the eyes. I wasn't gonna use the dark blue for her eyes, but I am going to now. 
Ew, I just put my elbow in it. That's gross. I don't want her pupils to stand out too much. So I'm just kind of lightly shading them in. And I want to use, what do I have here? A magenta. Let's see, I'll use a magenta. Go over that pupil area. And kind of smudge that blue. Makes it a nice purpley color. It looks weird because I never draw the highlights. Like, I'm going to change her highlights. It's going to bug me if I don't. All right, let's do lashes. Not sure. I really want to do that dark blue for lashes. Let's just do a little bit on this side since I did it on the other side. And then I'll use the aquamarine instead. a little less harsh and the color complements a little bit better plus I mean she has this color of hair so it all makes sense I'm just throwing these eyebrows in cuz I almost forgot about them hmm I guess it's okay take some of this red and around that area. I think I'm gonna add a little yellow to her eye. And then this, which I'm gonna shake over here, just cause it's loud. this side here. Now let's work on her lips. I'm using crimson red as my darkest color down here. And I'm just trying to clean up the edges really. And I'm gonna take, what do we got here? A nice pumpkin orange. Kind of as like a Working my way up to the top lip liner. Maybe add a little texture. And then I'll get a bright yellow. Maybe I'll do a bright orange. Let's see how this works. Not bad. And now just a touch of yellow. Bring in this, keeping in, light, keeping in mind the light source is coming this way. So I'm highlighting this side of her lips and like this top part of her lips can be highlighted because they're moist, glossy. I think I'm just gonna go around these teeth and clean them up just a little bit. Help them stand out, a little highlight on the nose can't really see it. I like to just add little blips and blobs here and there. Doesn't necessarily make sense, but I like it. Oh, I was just thinking about doing something and I forgot. Oh, she needs freckles, which will be with this one. I know in the, in the little cartoon picture I'm looking at, it's probably just their version of like creating scales, but I look at them as freckles. And we'll just give her some freckles up in the cheeky area. And just a couple on the nose. And then I'm gonna use the darker of those two and clean up the sides of her face. Although maybe I could use like an orange or red or something. I think I'll do that. Try the red. Something. Jazz hands, they're always there. Something like that. I think I'm gonna bring in the orange as well. And kinda add some saturation to these edges. Also just a touch of shading. Give her 
more, more defined eyelid area. I keep putting my elbow on this, that's gross. I'll have to dry that and get that salt off. All right, the salt is off, it is dry. You guys, is she done? Let's see, let's take a, let's take a little sneak peek here, a sneak peek. Let's take another gander, shall we? So there's our piranha. Got some nice orangey tones. We've got the yellow tones. Got the blues and greens in the hair. The pink was just my personal added touch. I did some orangey makeup for the lips, or maybe she just has orange lips, I don't know. I think we're done, you guys. All right, you guys, I will see you tomorrow with another Animal Crossing edition mermaid portrait. Take care and stay safe, and I, uh, I'll see you then. Bye, guys.